Hello, this is Broad. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Boss Crushers. This is uh, kind of an indie uh, roguelike game that uh, came out a couple weeks ago. And it's actually technically a, a co-op multiplayer game, which looks like it probably would be a lot of fun to play with a co-op team. But I currently don't have anybody to play with at the moment. So I am trying it on a kind of more single player standpoint. Not necessarily that good, but uh, I'm still having some fun with it. I think it's a pretty cool game. Uh, last episode, the first episode, we showed off the Crystal Keeper, uh, which I had not played out or tried out before. It was kind of cool. had some cool abilities. Uh, now we're going to try out the Witch, which I also have not tried. Um, has a chance to revive enemies, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then maybe next episode we'll finish it off with the, uh, the Sorcerer, which I, I've played a little bit of. Let's come over here. Um, so we've got Shadows. We've got Swamp. Creates a swamp in the specified area. Slows down enemies. That seems pretty good. Shadow Copy. Oh, okay. Creates a copy of you. Very good. Um, we did unlock a scheme, apparently. Um, okay. Uh, let's go check out our talents, though. We definitely opened up one of these. Increases the critical strike chance by 2%. Um kind of feeling like going down the healing side of things would be really good for us because obviously I'm not that good at this game. Uh, I'm actually just going to take some max HP to start with and maybe we'll do some healing if we get some more points. Alright, so come down here and let's open this bad boy back up and see what we can do. So Legitimate Valley, Lava Forge, and Green Ruins. We did the other two last time. We'll try out the Green Ruins this time, which I've actually played, but you guys have, may not have seen yet. Some of the mobs in here are a little annoying. If it's if it's the same mobs, which I think it will be, but that I've seen before, but but that's okay. We'll we'll still play through it for now. Oh, I actually got four different choices here. Well, let's go to the right. Oh, we opened up a chest already. Ultimate Potion. 30 point of ultimate ability. You learn a new random ability. Okay, well, let's try that out. New random ability. Which I learned... I guess, Fiery Wand? Is that what I just picked up? Oh, I could set that now as an ability. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Um... I mean, do I want that over the slow? I don't know. That one seems kind of cool. Actually, what we may do is use the swamp until we get to the boss. This looks like this would be a good one for the boss fight. Because it does damage equal to 2% of the health of the target every second. But no more than 40 within 3 seconds. I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe I'm misreading that a little bit. Uh, and what's this other ability? 30 points of ultimate ability. Okay. Sure, we'll try that. Maybe I shouldn't have popped that this soon. Maybe there was a reason to save that, but we'll go with it. Kind of a long hallway to start off with. Another chest, which we don't have a key for. Wow. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the Q. That was not good. Did not mean to do that. There's our shadow copy, though. I keep bumping the Q, because I'm used to, like, using the Q to move diagonal uh, in games and stuff like that, and so that's what I keep using it for, which is obviously bad. Oh, hello. Um, okay, let's drop down some stuff to slow. This is new. I have not seen these guys before. These little guys, like these little spider guys over here on the right that shoot like little three-pronged stuff. I've seen those guys before because they become immune, which is very annoying. But there's other guys I have not seen before. These guys up here. Wow. Hello. Alright, I guess I should be killing the eggs. She fires pretty fast. 
Okay. Well, oh, there's our. Oh, those are ours. I was like, what are these shadowy things chasing me and freaking me out for a second? There are little shadow clones. Very cool. Do they stay around forever? It's kind of interesting if they do. Oh, look at that. They just jumped all over that guy. Uh, I guess I won't need that yet. Hold off on that. Got a facility run into. Unnecessary. Okay, I guess they don't stick around. Oh, no, there they are. Okay, I do have five of them. Wow. I mean, if that's... I'm kind of liking these guys. I don't know. This is kind of cool. All right, let's pick this up. Um, Retribution R received damage is reflected... Is deflected back at the enemy and doubled. Gift of nature. When taking damage, there is 10% probability to receive a healing buff that restores the damage taken. I like that, obviously. Increases the damage of critical attacks, obviously. I, I, I'm going to keep going with the kind of the defensive stuff for now. Because as you can see, I, I kind of need a lot of it. Free guild member. Oh, hello. Guards. Okay, this looks like fun. I'm just going to drop down my queue for now. Okay, the box is obviously helpful there. Oh, hello. Let's drop down the little murky stuff. Maybe we can get you to go through that. Okay, here we go. Get you caught on that. Now right, we lost our shadowy things. That range is full dash. Drop our Q again. Yeah, let nothing else be a little bit of a distraction. Oh, he did let him attack us there, but it looks like we're going to be okay, I think. I <laughs> went right into the box. That worked out pretty good. Alright, there we go. That works. Thank you very much, Wanderer. I can't just... I can't stand cages. If you need magical scrolls, just find me in dungeons. Alright, well, I don't know what that does for us, but I will go with it. Did lose our shadowy apparitions, unfortunately, which hopefully we start getting some of them back because they are very helpful. Come on, stop being immune. It's dead. Okay, we got a couple of them back. Come on, stop being immune. All right, good stuff. Uh, get some gold here. I guess we'll come over here to the right. I don't have a key or anything. Having to watch both their their little bullets to dodge, and then where my shots are going to actually hit them as well. So yeah, I mean again, skill shot stuff, which I'm not that good at, but you know, I'm getting better, I guess, maybe, hopefully. Alright, so that's that. I'll come up here to the top. Ah, this thing again. I'm watching these things come at me. I ran right into the bullets. Right, so we got rid of one of the egg sack things. So we got a lot of apparitions for this, though. That helps. Now yeah, we got seven right now. Just a shot. All right, what do we got here? You got. Uh, spell power, turn into a golem for five fights, increase the character. Character what? Just increase the character. 30 points of ultimate, resurrect the character after death. Okay, let's try increase the character and see what in the world that does. Thanks for your visit. Call again. Okay, just makes us bigger. 
Why do we care? Um, time shift. Each time you use a basic skill, you have a 3% chance of being able to use an additional skill without spending any mana. Uh, four spell power when learning a new spell. Increased maximum mana by 40. We'll take the increased maximum mana because, for one, it also gives us a little bit of HP. I mean, these doors on the mini-map have exclamation marks, so I wonder if that tells us something about what we're going to see. I don't know. Can't get rid of those guys pretty easily while they're shielded. Not shielded, I should say. There we go. Well, that worked out. Um... Come this way. I mean, we are in the lowest level dungeon, so... I mean, the fact that we are still full health, we can't probably take too much stock in. Are. All right, there we go. Get us past that room. Um, lose some HP to open this up. Maybe horror. I like the horror thing a lot. Cause I feel like it could come in handy. Um. Okay, I'm not sure what that did for us. Try again. What's that doing for us? Okay, I guess we're getting stuff out of it. Our new random ability. What are we getting now? I see wind. Hmm, okay. I mean, we, I guess we can keep using this, but I don't know if there's any reason to. I'm sure it'll just keep going until we die. Ah, hello, boss fight. All right, well, maybe we should not have used a bunch of health before we came in. Oh, that's right. I was going to... Okay, is it too late? I wanted to swap to this. Oh, it's too late, isn't it? Come on. I want to swap to you. Okay, there we go. Okay, come on, come on, go out. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see if I can. Okay, so it just does that. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, okay. I actually have fought this guy before. Uh, <laughs> this guy's pretty crazy. Um, okay, let's try the right click thing. Let's try our Q. Get that down. Oh, no, it's not good. It's just a little bit easier to dodge when you're a little bit further away. Okay. And there he goes right into him again. Oh, hello. I remember those guys for some reason. We are out of mana. We are dying. I am not doing good. I actually did better than this. Oh, this guy last time I was facing. It. Whoa. Oh, I'm getting pulled. Okay, you don't see this, and you're like, why is he running into stuff like sillyly? It's sillyly. Anyway, uh, something was pulling me in different directions there, and I don't know what it was. Uh, maybe it's these little tentacles or something. I'm not sure. But something was pulling me in some weird directions and causing me to kind of not... Okay, I'm trying to get rid of these things. I'm thinking they're doing something to me. I am not dodging very well. But I'm also not shooting him while dodging. Which I probably could have had him killed by now if I'd been doing that. Oh, hello. Of course, we have a little bit of a limit of a range, limited range, I should say. Ah, oh, okay, we got him. <laughs> I mean, obviously, a little bit tougher than our first boss of that other dungeon we did, but he's still doable. Summon a demon. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, okay, to our side. Okay. It's not something we have to fight or anything, so that might work out okay. But, again, yet again, coming out of that first dungeon, we are low in health. So, it's not a good way to kind of get as far as you can in this, in this game, I don't think. Uh, I don't think we leveled up or anything, so I guess nothing to do except just go right into the next one. Uh, let's go back to Lava Forge, I guess. 
We already know that this the, one of the bosses in there, at least, was pretty tough when we fought them. So we killed this guy pretty quickly, actually, when we when we fought him. So maybe we'll do okay. It's hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. We got shot pretty quickly here. So used to identify. Okay, I don't know if I want to. We got a lot of money, but I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to do. Should, I guess, you know what, I guess we should spend some more money. I want to grab this. Guess we'll identify, plus 10 resistance. Alright, I mean, I could buy some more, but I'm hoping there's some, like, better shops. Maybe some shops with some heals. Okay, well that didn't go very long. <laughs> Ouch! I mean, again, this is a two school. Um dungeon so it definitely starts to hit harder uh, of course i did get myself into a corner there so there you go obviously as you can see i am not that good at this game but uh you know trying to get better at it i suppose we did get a level up we're up to level eight now um oh wait a minute does this reroll every time oh i was wondering what this button here that said reroll heroes was so now you currently have mana threads which means your mana costs are reduced by 30 percent you have fast steady increases the amount of experience gained by 25%. You have Hercules. The maximum health points are increased by 80. If I just re-roll this. Aha. Interesting. You start the game with a level 3 character. Well, hello there. Uh, I think we'll be playing that as that here in a moment. We're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. I know this episode was a little bit shorter. I did not live as long, unfortunately. But the next episode, we will try out the Sorcerer. And that might be the end of our Let's Try for this game. Uh, unless we unlock another hero, which I don't think we will. I think we have to be like level 10 or 15 or something like that to unlock another hero. So I do appreciate you watching. Uh, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.